what's going on what's going on youtube family it's been a while it's ryan back with another video po luxury reviews i can't be doing these one month video guys i know you like got this youtube family i want to make sure that i say this i apologize guys for not uploading and posting videos lately well you know the world has changed you know, I'm an entrepreneur. My business has been super, super, super busy. And I know you guys want every individual to have a successful business. And in order to have a successful business, you got to put in time. And boy, I've been putting in some hours, guys. But without further ado, what you guys been up to? Post your comment. Let me know what y'all been up to. What's been going on with all this amazing content that's been on YouTube. When I've been getting a break, you know, I sit down and I look at YouTube because that's what motivated me to start this channel and that C8 Corvette that I always post. But today's video is mainly about me saying I apologize for not being more active on YouTube. And I will be more active because I appreciate my PL family and I'm very thankful for you guys and I love you guys comments, you know, so, you know, understand this guys out here in Chicago, they, they, they killing it. They rocking the scene. You know, I'm, I'm so happy for my guy Stunner Reese. He just hit 70 K on YouTube without further ado, CJ on 32s. He's just taking the game to a whole nother level. As he say, he going up, he going up. That's exactly who it is. That's exactly what he doing. And, and, I, and I, can't, I can't wait to meet the brother. We live in the same city, but I haven't met him yet. But he's a, he's, he's a down brother. Um, he's a people person. And, um, you know, him and Stunner Reese, you know, CJ, they, they the man in Chicago. I'm not trying to be the man. I'm just trying to post out com content for you guys. And that's just what I do. So today I want to say I'm I'm happy because I'm I'm about uh about a month and a half late. And what I'm talking about guys is what the thumbnail is saying. I apologize, but on the same level, it's been 1 year since I have owned my C8 Corvette and I haven't had no problems guys. It's an amazing amazing car. And a lot of people said, hey, you know, this Z06 is coming out. You know, the Corvette market is like way up to the top. I've done every modification in the world of my car. Why don't you go ahead and sell it and get the Z06? Well, I'm gonna get on this, I'm gonna get on the list, but I'm still loving my car right now. And um, and I'm and I'm about to tell you guys why. I love my car, I like it, I enjoy it, I haven't had any problems, and excuse the wind as I'm walking over here uh to the um the C8 Corvette. We never came up with a name for this car, but after today, we got to come up with a name. I need you guys to, to look at what I'm about to show you with this C8 Corvette, my C8 Corvette, right here from Chicago. This is Chicago C8 Corvette. Let me give you a little, little ideas, but I need to name this car, all right? So without further ado, guys, we're gonna walk over and walk around this one year old C8 Corvette. And I wanna show you guys just how much I've taken care of this car. It is a car, I drive my car. My car has been over double digits on a regular and I haven't had any mechanical problems. And I'm just gonna go over it cause I, I don't think I ever did a thorough walk around uh, with this car, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now. And um, you guys post your comments and um, ask me any questions that you may wanna ask. Uh, Cause you know, I'm very transparent when you guys ask me about any modifications, anything that I have done to the car, the manufacturers, I share the information, website, phone numbers. I'm a car enthusiast now. That's what I would say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this C8 Corvette. Okay guys, so here we go. As you all know, this is the 2020 C8 Corvette Ceramic Matrix Gray. So I'm going to go over pretty much all the modifications I have done to this car once I do a walk around. Because you got to do a thorough walk around. This is a one year old car. 
that has been to the Indy 500, driven on the road. It hasn't been trailer. I, I drive my car on the highway. I don't trailer this car, I drive it. We're just walking around the car, so you can just look at it. It hasn't been in any accidents. <laughs> it hasn't been dropped or anything like that. I'm gonna try to block out my license plate, guys. We don't want any stalkers coming to our house. <laughs> All right, you got a little bit of the license plate. But anyway, so, this is a one-year-old car. I think I have 7,700 miles on the car. It's mainly been a weekend car. It's not a daily, not at all. I live in Chicago with the horrible, horrible, horrible streets. So this car, I have to select what roads I go down so I don't just tear up the whole front end of the car. So if you guys can guess what was the first modification that I did to this car and you post it in the comment and you're correct, I'm going to give away a free gift. This isn't a giveaway. This is just an appreciation for you guys following me. So look at the car and you tell me what was the first modification that I did to the car. And if you write, I'm going to acknowledge your name on my list here and let everyone know who you are and I'm gonna give you a gift. Oh, it's a nice gift. I give nice gifts. If I can do all these modifications that I'm about to go over, I'm not gonna give you no cheap gift. Once again, make sure you guys like, subscribe to what? PL Luxury Reviews, guys. Do it right up, right, let me see, right up there, right up there, okay? PL Luxury Reviews, like it, comment, do all that, okay, guys? All right, so, first modification, I did to the car, cause that's what I'm telling you, but that's not the first. Okay, so those are the black diamond wheels. They're silver with the Michelin tires on it. A lot of guys ask me, what size tires are those? Okay, the front tires are a 245, 30, 20. Okay, it's a 20 inch tire. So we're gonna go to the back. No, this is not a 21. It's a 20 inch rim on here also. What size is that tire? That tire on the rear is a 325, 20. On the rear, 325, 20. Okay, thanks. We see it's a Michelin tire, but what type of rims they are? Those are black diamond. Those are the black diamond wheels. All right, guys. So we're gonna go around to this amazing front splitter that was designed and made from RS Tuning. That's capital R, capital S as in Sam, C as in Charlie, RS Tuning. This is a carbon fiber. This is a one year splitter now you see how close it is to the ground there's no scratches on this it has not been ceramic coated it has no rock chips the car has hit over double digits and i can honestly say the craftsmanship and the workmanship of this it's not cheap and it, it's been holding up so well man this has been holding up well So, it's all carbon fiber, guys. So there's a second modification I'm showing you. So the next modification is my LED lights on my canards, guys. As you see, the LED lights right there on my canards. That item was purchased through Amazon, and I'll put the link. Those lights were $15, $15, and those lights have been working for over a year. Now, trust and believe, I bought about four boxes because they're so cheap, just in case they go out. But after one year, they have not went out. They water resistant. 
It's a cheap light, but man, do it make this front end look nice. They actually work with the headlights. They work with the turn signals. Amazing. This tow hook that I have in the front is not from a C8. That's the tow hook I got from eBay. Not a cheap item. Looks nice, good craftsmanship. All steel. That was about $18. I'll put the link in there for that too. So we're gonna walk back here to the back. Once again, this rear spoiler has been on my car for one year, guys. One year. Now, this is a LT1 Stingray. So what does that mean? That means that it doesn't come with a wing when you order an LT1. So this wing did not have to be screwed in. It's been put on with 3M tape. Now it does have the holes in the bottom of it for individuals who have the Z51 package, the LT2. It's actually screws in the same original holes that you can put in there to put it down. This has been on my car for one year, going over double digits. It has never came off. The three end tape that they gave me with the with this rear spoiler, still working. I hope you guys still sharing and liking PO Luxury Reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're going to the engine bay. You all have seen this a lot, but what I wanna show you with this is that that wing right there, I hand painted that. I'm gonna get a little close. I painted that with some Walmart paint. I trimmed it out in white, the black lines in the middle. I painted the gold. Yeah, I hand painted that. All right. Oh, we got, we got a lot more. We got a lot more mods we did to this car. Without further ado, the one that everybody like, that is the exhaust system. That exhaust system is done by Fab Speed. This is their cat back system. As you all have heard the car a lot, this particular system is very, very, very loud. But I want to step higher and I got the Fab Speed Sport Cats, okay? I'm gonna see if I can um, get a chance to show you all where they're at. Okay, here they are right here. Covered in the Kevlon that they have with to cool it off from any really hot heat distribution. I didn't put any headers on here or anything. I basically just put the Sport Cats on and the cat back exhaust system, guys. While we got the engine bay up, I got the G, no, that's a JLT. This is the oil catch can. They say that if you don't want to lose horsepower in your CA Corvette, you wanna catch any oil that may be coming around in your engine, okay? So this is a lifesaver because my car after one year, I still have horsepower. You don't believe me? Come to Chicago and we can line up. Doesn't matter. We can line up. The next thing, you can't see it, but Solar Performance has an aftermarket throttle body. That's actually installed in here also from Solar Performance. Okay? Why did I do that? You get 100% throttle. So your throttle response is a lot better. And you'll notice the difference in how the car performs. All right, you'll notice the difference how it performs. So since I have red seats in my LT1, I had to wrap my mirrors. Those mirrors are not painted, they are wrapped. I didn't do it myself. But the C8R Competition Corvette really motivated me to do that. 
that was just really really nice so once again got to show you another modification that I did another eBay no that's an Amazon purchase that wasn't eBay that was Amazon for those two stickers on my LT1 probably about $15 not that expensive did I do any other so I went over the rims I went over the spoiler the splitter the exhaust the sport cats the catch can Did I do anything else to this CA Corvette? Yes, I did. So, you see guys, I have the carbon fiber steering wheel that was installed with the LED lights on it. And I'm gonna do another separate video with that. Now, a lot of guys in my Corvette club laugh at me about something I'm gonna show you. So it's been a year. I have not taken the plastic off of my radio one year the plastic on my dashboard you see it you see the bubbles there I haven't taken it off haven't taken it off haven't taken it off the car is holding up well guys no rust nothing now did I put any PPF film on the car yes I did I did the hood the bumper, all of this black part down here, this right here, no PPF, no ceramic coat, none of that, none of that. So, we want to say the, the fender, the fender, the hood, the bumper, and the lower bumper, all of that has been PPF on it as I'm walking around I'm trying to think did I forget anything about the car I don't think I did but what I can say guys is that owning this CA Corvette this is my first Corvette I ever owned and I couldn't have found a better time to want to get into a sports car um, it's, it's a lot of car for the money I am the original owner and wow as I just said that, I got another mod that I did. And all of these mods is tastefully done. This doesn't look like an overkill. And you know you know it isn't. Um, we put the um, new Corvette mats in here. So, what's up guys? I know it was a lot of information, but you know, I think I did it in about 10 minutes, the most that I could tell you but one thing I can say is that you know it's been a great journey having this car waiting on this car it's still an eye turner right now in over a year you know people are getting 2021s you know they still building 2022s the car is selling like still like hotcakes and but people are still waiting for it so I'm, I'm lucky I'm privileged I'm blessed to have this car and um, I, I really want to say, I hope that I cover, you know, majority of the things that I have done with the car. If you have any questions, you know, please do um, drop me a comment um, in the section down here and make sure that you guys share this video and um, help me get up to um, 2,000 subscribers. And if you guys want me to post more videos, I can, um, because I kind of set my schedule um, before it, you know the snowstorm hit because here in chicago you know we get snow i'm going to try to um get out a little bit more with the car and um, do some more content uh, because i've been seeing some of my previous followers you know they're starting their youtube channel because um, they're just getting their c8s or they're basically getting into you know it's being a car enthusiast but the main thing of it is that you know make sure that you comment on what was my first modification that i did to the car and I'm gonna give you a free gift. And once you comment, I'll comment directly back to you. Then we will switch information via social media. Um, and then I'll give you my contact information. Then you'll let me know where you want me to send it to. Then I'll go ahead and send it to you. But I have a really, really nice gift. And once I get a winner who 
presents to me what my first modification is, I'm gonna show everyone what the gift is and we're gonna move on from there. But once again, thank you guys for watching PL Luxury Review. I hope this video was very informational to you. And if it's anything that you feel that I didn't cover or you want to know about my C8 Corvette this 2020 with 7,700 miles, that sounds like a beast. So let me see if I can send this car off with a, with a, with a, with a cold start. Um, let me, let me get down here real quick. Let me see if I can get this thing a cold start.